Hi YouTube, for today's video I'm going to show you how to install Ubiquiti's network controller on Ubuntu 20.04 VMware ESX, even though you have the option to run it on CloudKey Dream Machine, CloudKey Gen 2, Raspberry Pi, a whole bunch of things. The reason I'm doing this is because I got rid of the old controller, uh, which was running on KVM. I'm migrating that server to another box and decided to move the server initially and it was too much work and I decided to just back up the configuration bring up a new machine on ESX and migrate the config to the new controller. So there are two ways that you can actually achieve this. One would be to download it here, and then it's gonna download the Debian package from this URL, and then you can install it on Ubuntu. But this requires a bit of work. Uh, you have to deal with prerequisites and error messages that show up along the way. So I have a better way. This page from Ubiquiti gives you very basic instructions on how to install the Unify application or the network controller application. So let's begin. I have an Ubuntu server 20.04, 2 GB of memory, 2 CPUs, and 30 GB of hard disk. You don't need so much resources. So let's start with task number one. We have to install these two packages, which you have to just copy and paste. It's gonna go through the installation. Yep. And for the next step, you have to download the source list which I'm gonna do very well. Now we have to add the GPG key and to add the GPG key, method A is recommended. So our version is not 18.04, so we're gonna skip this one. So method A, we are gonna execute this command to add the key and we're going to skip this part, method B, we are not going to do that. Then install or upgrade the Unify network application. And apparently there are some problems with Java version 11, which we have to mark Java version 11 as a blacklist. Let's matter of fact do that. And in here, you just have to grab this line, copy it, and paste it to your server. So it's going to fetch the packages, the necessary stuff, and then it will install all the prerequisites on its own without you having to press a button. Once this thing is finished, I'm going to resume the recording and show you guys how you can access the controller. Okay, as you can see, the Unify controller has been installed. Now, the next thing is, now this step is optional. We are not gonna deal with MangoDB, so we're gonna skip that one. And then in here, I'm gonna start the service by executing service start Unify, service Unify start. password then I'm gonna check the status okay so it looks like we have a problem at least this document which does not have a date is not truly updated so doesn't matter uh, let's take a look at Java that we have in here. Um, minus L. I remember something very vague that Java had issues with, or the latest Java has issues with Unify. 
Okay, let's check that. Java version 16. Okay, that might be the problem. I remember last time when I was running this Unify, when I installed it, I ran it on Java version 8. Matter of fact, let me try that. Install open JR open JDK version 8 JRE headless. Unable to locate the package. Open JDK 8 JRE headless. Able to locate the package. JRE. Ah, it's sudo. That's why you should read all the error messages all the time. Okay, so now we are going to install Java version 8. Let's see if that fixes the problem. Okay, start. Status. Uh, different error, but uh, at install map tools. I think we look okay, sudo. This is not necessary. I just want to check what version, uh, what port is it listening to? So A8443, very good. Uh, let's access Unify. Yeah, looks like we have access to it. Very good. So in here, it's gonna ask you to name your controller. Let's just go through it. <clears throat> Goof, I accept to everything you guys say. I don't have any other choice. Sign into your Ubiquiti account. No, remote access. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Local administrative user, me. Administrative password, me. Automatically optimize my network. Guys, leave this option enabled. That helps you with a lot of trouble. Do you want to set up a device? You have no devices. Yes, I know that. Uh, but I don't want to configure anything. Matter of fact, you can just leave this stuff pretty much the way it is. Uh, if you're setting up from scratch, definitely, by all means, go ahead and then configure this. You, um, For instance, you have to put in your wireless settings, even though you have the option to put it later. Um, but feel free to just add your devices in the process, even though you have the option to do it later. This is just a wizard, which you can safely skip it, which I'm gonna do because I wanna restore my config from the backup. So here is our Unify controller, and here is my topology. As you can see, it's empty because I have nothing in it yet. These are the devices that Unify has discovered. They have been managed by the controller that I had before. And if I want to control them, I have to either provide a password or restore my settings from the backup file, which I'm gonna do next. So let me go to the system, restore the backup. Under backup and restore, choose my file. The backup file, gonna open it. It's going to restart the Unify and then you should be in good shape. So Ubiquiti guys, if you're watching this tutorial, I hope you do. Uh, this step needs to be updated on Ubuntu version 20. So at least tell people that this documentation is not really accurate or updated. So let's go back to our controller. Okay, now it's asking for the password. And this time the password is the one that you set before. And as you can see, no, do not send anything to anybody. 
As you can see, my dashboard is available to me. It's the old dashboard because it's been restored from the config that I have before. These are my oops devices. Yeah, I got kicked off from the network. I am back to the network. I can ping the server and one of the access points fell out of the caravan. No problem. Okay, uh, back to Back to Ubiquity, all my network devices are now detected. Um, okay, it looks now normal. So all the access points are detected. Um, as you can see, everything looks okay and pretty healthy. So I had to all I had to do was to make sure that I still have wireless access. Okay, so it looks pretty okay. And that's how you can install Unify Controller and set it up from scratch. Maybe I show you in, in another video how to add devices into Unify. But if you have a backup, if you want to know how to create the backup, it's in here. It's the old dashboard. Uh, the new way is slightly different. You can just back it up here and then restore it later on when you want to migrate it from anything to anything else. Let's just say Cloud Key, Dream Machine, or whatever have you. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video has been useful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Have a good one.